Let's think about what 9,319 divided by 66 is. And I encourage you to pause this video and try to figure out what this would be on your own. So let's just rewrite it so it'll be easier to operate on. So we can rewrite 9,000, 9,319. And we're going to divide that by, we're going to divide that by 66. Whenever you're dividing by something that has more than one digit, it's always a little bit of an art, and we're going to have to do a lot of estimation. So for example, we'll start off, we'll say, well, does 66 go into 9? Well, no, 66 doesn't go into 9. 9 is less than 66. Then we can move one place value over. Does 66, does 66 go into 93? Well, sure, 66 would go into 93 one time. 1 times 66 is going to be 66. And now we can subtract. And let's see, you might be able to do this in your head and get 27, but I'll regroup it just so that we make sure we know what is actually going on. So I have a 3 in the 1's place, a 6 in the 1's place. Let me get 10 from the 10's place. So this 90 becomes an 80, and this 3 becomes a 13. 13 minus 6 is 7. 8 minus 6 is 27. And now we can bring down this 1 right over here. So now we have to think about how many times does 66 go into 271. And this is where, once again, the art of dividing by more than one digit starts to come into play. So 66, it's, it's, you know, it's closer to 70 than it is to 60. And this is roughly about 270, if I were to approximate. So if I were to say, if I were to say how many times, if I were, if I were thinking about how many times does 70 go into 270. Well, how many times would 7 go into 27? Well, 7, 7 times 3 is 21. 7 times 4 is 28. So 28 times 4 would be too many times. So I would say, I would approximate this as 3 times. And it's not going to go in exactly. So let's try to make that same approximation right over here. Let's say, well, let's say 66 goes into 271 3 times. Let's try it out. And when we multiply it again and subtract, as long as the remainder is less than 66, then we're OK. So 3 times 6 is 18. 18. 3 times 6 is 18, plus 1 is 19. And now let's subtract. So once again, we're going to have to do some regrouping here. This 1 is less than the 8. The 7 is, is less than the 9. So let's take 100 from the hundreds place. And give it to the tens place. So instead of seven tens, it's now 17 tens. And now let's take 10 from the tens place, so now it's 16 tens, and give one of those tens to the ones place, so now it's 11. So 11 minus 8 is 3. 16 minus 9 is 7. And then 1 minus 1 is 0. Now we made a mistake because our remainder here is 73. The difference between 271 and 198 is 73. So even though I tried my best with this approximation, the approximation wasn't quite right. Because this number is larger than 66, I could have gone into 271 one more time. So let's undo that. Instead of going three times, let's try to go four times. So let's try to undo all of this. And let's see what happens if we instead we were to go four times. Four times six is twenty-four. Is twenty-four. Four times six is twenty-four. Plus two is twenty-six. Yeah, there we go. We got much closer to two hundred and seventy-one without going over. If we'd gone over two hundred and seventy-one, then we would have gone too many times. And now you could subtract. And you might be able to do this in your head. 71 minus 64 is going to be 7. But in case you can't, we could regroup. We could take 10 from the tens place. So now it's 6 tens and give it to the ones place. This is 11. 11 minus 4 is 7. And then 6 minus 6 is 0. 2 minus 2 is 0. And now we can bring down, now we can bring down the next number. So we have this 7 here. Let's bring down, let's bring down this 9. So how many times does 66 go into 79? Well, that's pretty clear. It's going to go one time. One times 66 is 66. You can ignore this for now. That was just for the last step. And you subtract. 9 minus 6 is 3. 7 minus 6 is 1. And we're left with 13. 
Now, you could keep dividing if you want a decimal, but if you're happy, if you just care about kind of the whole number part of this, of what, whatever 9,319 divided by 66 is, we're done. So we could say that this is equal to 100, 140, we do that same color, that same green color, 141, remainder 13, remainder 13. 66 goes into 9,319 141 times, but you're still going to have 13, you're going to have 13 left over.